In today's video, we will do some power measurements for the newly announced Aqua Illumination Blade fixture. In the previous video, I had both blade grow and glow on this aquarium, but currently I'm running two grows. Um, I figured that if we want to measure par, especially with the par meter that I have, it's going to be a little bit more accurate and maybe longer term on this aquarium, I'm going to be running the two grows. I will be using this Apogee par meter. This is MQ200. I'm going to be running it in electric mode, which will bring that number a little bit down, but don't, re don't forget that we need to multiply that number by a certain correction factor, which you can look up. I've seen values from ranging from 1.08 to 1.3. I'm not sure which one to apply. And also please keep in mind that this is a very old parameter. So I think the idea here is just to get some ballpark figures. Uh, I've mentioned in my previous video that I was getting 300 value of mole uh, on this aquarium and it's more than plenty for almost all coral and even the SPS coral in my opinion. If I put the power meter right underneath the fixture, I'm getting way over 500 par uh, value. And if I put it in between the two fixtures and lower it down about 30%, we're gonna get about 340. So with the conversion factor, that's close to 380 or 370. If we're gonna go midway, we are hitting those 300 values, even without the conversion factor. And if I'm going to bring the power meter a little bit closer to the surface, you can actually see that it's not dropping that much. It's at 255. And if I'm gonna put it all the way in the back, I'm probably gonna get a little bit less, but still uh, about 200. Next, let's go all the way to the bottom. And on the surface, I am reading very cool 200 par, which you can actually see right over here. And if I'm going to go all the way to the corner of the aquarium, this is the furthest point, I'm still getting uh, this beautiful close to 200, so 185. I want to make sure that you can see it on camera. And then let's actually measure for any hotspot. So I'm going to have my par meter right around uh, the lower half of the aquarium. And I'm just, so here we're reading 200. And if I'm just moving it around front to back, it seems to be very even. I'm hovering around 200, getting a little bit closer. We see a little bit of a spike, which is expected, but it's not climbing any further. So you can see that uh, we are at about 260, 270, 270. And doesn't matter which way I'm gonna go, it's not, I don't see any huge hotspot. What is the conclusion here? I think the new light provides very even distribution of light throughout the whole tank. It's the closest to T5 that I have seen so far in this hobby. There's a very slight drop off in the corners, but also the light is super strong. Keep in mind that this is not a scientific uh, power measurement. For this, I would recommend you go to BRS or um, maybe Aqua Illumination directly and see what their power measurements are. They are using much better LED sensors. But what it means for me is that this is a very strong light and I have to actually watch the coral and I want to make sure that I'm not burning anything here. Uh, right now I'm running at 100. It's a big tank. It's a 5 foot aquarium, 26 inch front to back, 24 inch high. And even at the bottom I have enough part to burn some of uh, the corals if my other parameters are not in check. So this is a very strong light. And this is LPS dominated aquarium but I'm confident that um, most of the Acropora would be fine uh, for even two strips. If you really wanna um, spice it up, you can get two 
grows and one glow and have kind of the best of both worlds. Also, the meter that I'm using is not the best to capture the bluer spectrum of the light. So that light might be a lot even higher than what I'm getting. So I have to be really careful by not overdoing with the light in this aquarium. So right now I'm running everything at 100% except for the white. For white I actually brought down to 50. And over the next uh, little while I'm just going to be experimenting with the spectrums that I find I enjoy most aesthetically as well as the corals. This wraps up today's video on PAR. In tomorrow's video I will answer all of your questions that you've written in the comments for this video as well as the previous one.